Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Brianne Pomerini. We begin tonight with the devastating shooting rampage in Kalamazoo County. Six people shot and killed, two others severely injured. From a town home complex, car dealership, and popular restaurant, officials say there was no rhyme or reason for the shootings. We have team coverage tonight of this still developing story. We'll start with 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Wilson as she explains we're learning much more about the suspected shooter. Jennifer? Well, David Llewellyn, as you might imagine, the community here in Kalamazoo is still reeling from last night's violence. Violence allegedly committed by a man with no prior criminal history. A man who was actually passed a background check to become a cab driver with the company Uber. A man we now know has two children. A wife who, by all accounts, is a very well-liked neighbor. And people I've spoken with who say they know Jason Dalton say they just can't believe he would ever do anything like this. He just seemed like a normal, normal guy. This is just so, so strange. Gary Pardo has lived across the street from Jason Dalton and his family for more than 12 years. When their kids were born, I mean, my wife would take you know, something over to him and I would talk to Jason. Seeing his face in connection with last night's deadly shooting spree has been a shock. You just don't understand it. I mean, it's... It's hard to put in words. This Uber passenger put into words her experience with Dalton a little after 5 p.m. last night, writing in a Facebook post that he was driving erratically and blowing through stop signs. About 30 minutes later, police say Dalton opened fire on a mother who was outside of her apartment with two of her children, seriously injuring her. Several of those bullets came dangerously close to hitting these three teens who were playing video games inside their apartment. Some of them just had like a strong enough force to go through the, like penetrate the wall and into the room. How scary. It was pretty, I mean, it was a little scary to be honest. Several miles away and several hours later, the rampage continued at a car dealership. A uh, father and his son out looking at vehicles, um, just stopping by the auto lot, like many of us has done uh, in our life. And was there then, any interaction? Did he know them? He did not know them as far as we know. Uh, it doesn't appear there was any interaction other than he walked up and just shot him. Then 15 minutes later, police say Dalton opened fire again, killing four more and critically injuring a 14-year-old girl in a Cracker Barrel parking lot. By 1 a.m., Dalton was behind bars, an entire community left shaken to its core. This is tragic. This is tragic for the, his family and for all those other people. And our prayers go out to all of them. Well, Kalamazoo Public Safety says six people are now dead. A 14-year-old little girl is currently fighting for her life, and an eighth victim is critically injured but expected to survive. Now, the county prosecutor says that he expects at least a dozen charges to be filed against Dalton tomorrow when he'll make his first appearance in court. We'll be there, and we're hoping to get some answers, especially to that big question I know is on everyone's mind tonight. Why? Reporting live here in Kalamazoo, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Why indeed, Jennifer, thank you for the live report and stay with us tonight. We'll take a more in-depth look at the suspected shooter in this deadly attack in Kalamazoo. That's tonight on Action News at 10 over.